Good afternoon. God bless you this afternoon. First of all, let me say Happy New Year to all of you. And thank you once again for tuning on me once again. Praise God. Hallelujah. I want to share a little bit something out of uh, out the uh, book of Mark. It talks about whose son is the Messiah. And I'm not going to hold you too long. I'm going to make it real quickly. And I'll make my little point real quickly as I can before, this, before my time run out. Uh, I'm going to start with verse 30. Um, uh, verse 37 it says since David himself called the Messiah my Lord how can the Messiah be his son the Lord's crowd listened to him with great delight Jesus also taught beware of these teachers of religious law for they like to parade around his flowing, flowing robe and receive respectfully greeting as they walk in the marketplace and how they love the seat of honor in the synagogue and the head table at banquets it kind of mind me of, I'm, I'm going to start right here and make my point. Uh, chapter 39, verse 37, 39 and chapter 12 of Mark, St. Mark. Um, it kind of mind me, you know, having these banquets or, you know, something going on special at church or revival or something like that. And get all these special people in, you know, before the other states come in, they get them in first and one to get money, whatever, some big time or whatever, something like that. They let them come in first, have their little, get their little front seat, row seat and everything. You know, there's something like a reward, you know, the, you know, a game, a football game. You know, to pay all this money, get the front row seat and stuff like that. You know, churches do it too also. You know, they have the same coming in a little later on after everybody's got their little front seat, you know, with the guesses and everything and get the best seat. You know, and probably not always about money, but they get the best seat. You know, when we all there to hear the word of God, and you know, we all on the, supposed to be on the same accord. And you sometimes these ministers, preachers, and teachers, they teach, they treat others better than the regular saints, the one that's paying their tithes and doing these kind of things, and y'all using the money to do whatever y'all want to do, but y'all treat the saints like they nothing. And you treat the big timers and all the kinds of one got money, one doing things, the one doing something around the world, you know, for the world, you know, y'all treat them better than the saints. And I don't feel that's right. But that's one of just make my point is I read that just this little verse just now. That's what it kinda of mind me of when talk about banquets, everybody getting ahead, getting, you know, getting the table, getting all situated, you know, taking care of other people's first, they get the front row seat, little stuff like that. You know, but it talks about where it says whose son is the Messiah. It says, you know, later as you know, let later as Jesus was teaching the people in the temple, he asked, Why do the teachers uh, religious law claimed that the Messiah is the son of David. Well, David himself speaking under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit said, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit in a place of the honor of my right hand until I humble your enemies beneath your feet. So if you got enemies, somebody bothering you, got, you know, people that, you know, hating on you and everything, you know, your enemy just hating. You know, don't like you, whatever. You know, you have to put them on your, under your feet. Get them behind you. Far behind you, get them out your life, get them out your way. Because you... Here to be blessed, continue to be blessed on this day and this year. You want to make 2016 better than 2015. So whatever's hindering you, whatever's in your way, whoever's in your life, you know, is not helping you or blessing you. And they're there to tear you down. I don't want to see nothing good happen to you in your life. You know, you don't, you need to get them out your way. Put them on your feet. Kick them to the curb. Get them back. Get them out. You know, you don't need all that, you know. And your past, 2015 is the past, and you got 2016 is rich now, today. You don't need all the past, you know, in the mix of 2016. The past is the past. Yesterday, yesterday, be gone, but be as bygone. Move on and, and do something better and positive for yourself and for, you know, for this year. You know, it's not the year that changes things, but it, 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 you have to change the thing while you're in the year. You know, the year will keep on going on and on. It's up to you if you're going to change your way and change the way you think and change your life, you know, and get your life right with Christ, you know, and live for Jesus and do something that's different, you know, because Jesus is going to be always right. You know, God is going to always be right. He's not going to lie. He can't lie. He's not going to change his mind. He's faithful, you know. You need to be on God's level, Jesus' level. Amen, somebody. That's all I wanted to share with y'all. I wasn't going to hold y'all too long. But praise God, and once again, Happy New Year to you and your family. You know, praise God. I hope it's be an awesome year for you all. A better year than last year. Bye-bye, 2015. This, you know, hello to 2016. And that's the positive mind you need to be thinking and changing the way, changing the way, you know, 
what God wants you to be, not in people, not in the world, but in what God wants you to do and what he wants you to be. And I know that God is the law. His law is better than the world's law. Amen, somebody. Heavenly Father, pray for those watching. God bless you. Then God keep you. Lord, leads and God, you protect you going in and going out. I pray no weapon for him against you shall prosper in Jesus' name. You can't do all things through Christ which strengthens you. In Jesus' name. You are blessed. You are healed. By a strike, you are healed. No matter what the doctor said, by a strike, you are healed. No matter what pain you're feeling, you by his strike, you are healed. No matter what you know what you feel like. You know, God already know you heal. He wants you to speak some word and call things to be not do they were. But I say you are healed in the mighty name of Jesus. You believe. And I pray you receive it today, this evening, or whenever the side you to tune on to me. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And God bless you and God keep you. And the Lord God's angels around you protect you and your family in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. No weapon form against you shall prosper in Jesus' name. I declare and decree right now in Jesus' name that you are well. You're going to be better this year than you was last year. And I claim it and I speak it and I say it and I believe it and I'm hoping in Jesus' name. You know, for nothing works without God. Keep us perfect in all that you do. Be obedient to him in all that you do. Because he knows what's best for you. He cares for you. He loves you. In Jesus' name, I pray. But you do your dues. And don't worry about the don't. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. So once again, Happy New Year to you all. Peace, love, and happiness. Stay in the word. Do your dues. Don't worry about the don't. See you next time. If God say the same.